Hello, I'm Courtney Searwalt, Indiana 4-H Animal Science Extension Specialist. Today I'm joined by Kara Harbison, the Indiana 4-H, 4-H Online Extension Specialist. Today we'll be highlighting what you need to do to properly identify your animals in the 4-H online system in order for them to be eligible for your county fair as well as state fair exhibition. As always, we do remind you that you need to make sure you are aware of what you need to do in order to be eligible for your county and state fair projects. And you can do so by working with your local extension office and specifically your local 4-H educator. So before we get started, we'd like to highlight what you need to do in order to properly identify your 4-H beef and dairy beef animals in the 4-H online system. As a reminder, beef and dairy beef steers need to have an 840 RFID tag, a five-digit county tag, and a DNA hair sample submitted to their local extension office by May 15th. Commercial and market heifers and dairy feeders need to have an 840 RFID tag, a five-digit county tag, and DNA hair sample submitted to their local extension office again by May 15th. Also by May 15th, registered beef females need to have an 840 RFID tag, a tattoo, and a DNA hair sample submitted. As a reminder, please make sure that if at any time you have any tag changes after May 15th, let's say your tag falls out, you need to make sure you contact your local 4-H educator as soon as possible. Again, if you are planning to show cattle at the Indiana State Fair, a DNA hair sample must be turned in by May 15th. Now let's get to it. Kara's going to take us through the steps in order to how to properly identify an animal in 4-H online. Okay, you will visit v2.4honline.com and log in with your family credentials like you did for enrollment. Animal ID is you register those animals under a member specifically. Let's start with our first member. We click view next to the name. We navigate over here to the left hand panel and find animals. Any animals that you have currently registered will show up below, but if we're ready to add an animal like we're going to today with beef cattle, well, we will click on this add an animal. Add new animal and select our animal type. For beef, you will notice we have beef and dairy steers, beef commercial and market heifers, beef cow calf pairs, beef feeder calves, beef registered heifers, and we have dairy feeder steers. For example, today we're going to choose the beef and dairy steers. Again, you'll notice that there are several options for the beef and dairy beef categories, so please pay close attention when you go to choose your animal type before entering in your animal's ID. So for the beef and dairy steers, you'll notice next it asks for a required tag. This tag is your five digit county tag. Under the question section, please be sure to read through the instructions before you begin to enter in your animal's identification. This has important dates and exhibition requirements for the state fair, but also remember to contact your local county extension office for other deadlines and identifier requirements. Once you've read through the whole list, click on show questions. We'll scroll back up to the top here. Since these are steers, you would typically have a weigh-in date. You can put in a beginning weight here and choose your weigh date. You'll select your breed. And a reminder on the breeds that there are some breeds that may be county specific and not eligible for the Indiana State Fair. If you're not sure of what breeds are recognized at the Indiana State Fair, please make sure you check out the entry book, which should be available by mid-March to early April and see what breeds specifically are 
recognized at the state fair. The next, you'll go to your county race. If your animal is county born and raised, you can select that here. DNA collected. Remember to be eligible for the Indiana State Fair. You must have collected DNA and turned that into your extension office. So once you have done that, please indicate that here. Premise ID. Anybody exhibiting livestock in Indiana, you have to have a premise ID. If you do not have a premise ID or you've forgotten your premise ID, please contact the Board of Animal Health. If you have not obtained a premise ID, please do not wait until May 15th to obtain that information and ask for that from the Board of Animal Health because it does take some time. So we'll enter that here. RFID number, this is your 15 digit RFID tag. It's an 840 tag. So you please enter in the full 15 digits in the box provided. And with all of this information, if there's a box, please be as thorough as possible. Even if it doesn't say it's required, for instance, if you have a breed steer, there's no harm in putting a tattoo if you have one. Please just be as, as thorough as possible because um, no, one, no one ever knocked points off for being incredibly thorough. So we just recommend that you do that as well. So once you're finished um, filling in all the fields, you can click next. There's no files to be uploaded at this time, so we'll click Next. And then you get a chance to review that information. If anything looks incorrect, you can go back and correct that now, or if you're done, you can click Submit. Upon submitting your animals, you will receive an email notification to let you know that that animal is now in active status. And you can go back in at any time before the May 15th deadline and edit the animal's information. We'll go back to the Animals tab, and you can add another animal, or if you need to add more animals for another member, you can click on Member List and go to the next member. Now do note that we did put this steer under Chance's profile, but if another family member is going to exhibit this, perhaps maybe decides to exhibit this steer at the county fair, you do not need to have had this particular animal registered under the other member, once a member, a animal is under a member's profile, they are automatically co-enrolled for the family. Throughout the process, if you have any questions, please remember to contact your local Purdue Extension office as your 4-H educator will be happy to assist you with your questions. Remember a couple reminder dates. Again, the animal identification deadline for all animals to be identified in 4-H online in order to be eligible for the Indiana State Fair 4-H shows is May 15th. Please be in contact with your local county for local county policies as well as activities involvement. We wish you the best of luck in your, in your showing and 4-H project year.